Senator Grassley, I believe uh, Senator Leahy will now join us uh, virtually. Thank you. And I, we should not be holding this hearing when it's plainly unsafe to do so. Two members of this committee are just now emerging from quarantine after testing positive for COVID. And when other members have declined to get tested and the chairman has refused to implement a daily testing regime to keep members and staff and Judge Barrett and her family safe. Think of that, my Republican colleagues. Literally half of the Senate had to break their word. More than 212,000 Americans have died due to COVID. Millions more are hurting. The virus is spiking again across the country. But Senate Republicans have nothing to say about that. The Senate is wearing blinders to the grim realities facing Americans. Instead of talking about COVID and doing something to help the American people were engaged in this mad rush to fill a Supreme Court vacancy on the eve of a presidential election. The president has even promised that any judge he nominates will overturn the Affordable Care. And why? I think the answer is painfully clear. With this vacancy, President Trump and Senate Republicans see the potential to wildly swing the balance of the court. They see the, the ability to take the courts from being independent to making them instead an arm of the far right in the Republican Party. The potential to accomplish through the courts what they failed to accomplish by votes in the halls of Congress on the Supreme Court. But this isn't the way we should do it. We should not have had They're scared that your confirmation would result in the rolling back of voting rights, workers' rights, and the rights of the LGBTQ community to equal treatment. These aren't just thoughts. These are real-life implications of decisions made by the court. And a majority of Americans, like an overwhelming majority of my fellow Vermonters, don't support taking our country in that direction all the time. Now think of another one. Mark Our Republicans first announced their intention to fill Justice Ginsburg's seat just one hour after her death. From that moment, this process has been nothing but shameful. Worse, it will almost certainly lead to disastrous consequences for Americans. Justice Ginsburg, I am certain, would have dissented. And I will too, on behalf of Vermonters, on behalf of the integrity of the Senate, and on behalf of the majority of Americans who oppose this process. The virus is spiking again across the country.